Broward Children's Hospital will say goodbye to a woman who has cared for literally thousands of babies. Lucy O'Hanlon has been a nurse in the NICU for almost 43 years, showing countless infants, families, and fellow nurses about the power of love. Baby Raul's wide awake, watching for his friend. Hello, mister. Hello. <laughs> Hi. His NICU nurse, Lucy O'Hanlon. Who's the best guy? Huh? Who is he? Right here. She's there been he here is. almost every day since Raul arrived, March 14th, at just one pound, eight ounces. You sure are a big boy. We're so proud of you. How would I want my baby treated? And that's what I give. And Lucy's been caring for babies like Raul for more than four decades. I adore babies, and I think it's my privilege to be able to work here and work with them. They're um, the most purest form of love that there is. Lucy's impact is simply huge. When Children's recently announced that Lucy was retiring, thousands of people took notice, sharing their stories. A mother talking about how Lucy just held her hand and listened. A father talking about Lucy helping him hold his preemie for the first time. Nurses sharing stories about how Lucy was their mentor and friend. And of course, the babies. So many babies, many of them now thriving as toddlers and adults. Just like Raul, Lucy still remembers things about each baby. He likes to hear people, he loves to be around people. Yeah, and you like your head rubbed too. Mm -hmm. But in the NICU, these babies are very sick. You can see the connections you make, like with Raul. When you lose a baby, how do you deal with that? Well, it's a process, and um, as a person in this field matures or ages, I think you come to realize that it's something much greater than yourself. Even. You know, even with the, the babies that, that are, are meant to go to heaven, those babies teach us about love and endurance. Lucy is leaving her own lessons here as she says goodbye. She is the most passionate and caring person that I've ever met here. It's almost like she can sense what they're feeling and what they need, as well as the families. And Lucy hopes to send one last message to every baby, to every parent or family member who spends time here, you are loved. There's tons of people that believe just like I do that have given their lives to this hospital and then there's a whole batch of new ones and it's their turn. Yeah, everything's okay. See, I had my due date yesterday. And good news, that sweet pea there, baby Raul got to go home this week. Now, we simply don't have the time to share all of the amazing stories we are hearing about Lucy, but we want you to check them out. We have linked up to a post about Lucy on Facebook where stories continue to pour in about what she's done and her impact. You'll find it all on our website, KETV.com. So, 43 years, what is she going to do with this well deserved retirement? Well, she said the first thing she wants to do is just enjoy a cup of coffee <laughs> and try to imagine a life where she's not working every day. She also said she wants to spend time with her granddaughters and her fellow nurses tell me she'll be back, they think, as a volunteer. That makes a lot